Frontier FX. Come at you on Thursday, 25th of May. Last few days of May here. Um, then into June, we got Memorial Day on Monday. And then the, this debt ceiling thing will come to uh, come to a close. Uh, we got short dollars last night. Um, and we're just going to sit here short for a little bit. Uh, dollar yen right here at 50. Uh, we can get given at 20 in euro. Uh, what was the low this morning? 32. Um, we're long at 40. Still have a bit at, at uh, 20, but we're going to move that bid down to 05. So we're just sort of saying this is an accumulation. Uh, area for euro dollar. This is a sell area for dollar yen. Uh, we could probably accumulate cable, um, and we're happy to sell dollar Swiss uh, up at 91 centimes uh, if we if we get up there. Pretty low volatility. Yen's been moving around, I guess, a little bit more than most. But um, you know, euro is basically 30, 90, 60 pips over minutes. It's not great. Um, GDP today, so that'll be the next the next piece of the puzzle. GDP and unemployment claims. Everything's getting a little bit stretched. Let's also look at Aussie. We talked about Aussie uh, on Twitter yesterday, how it looked like it was going to get smacked. It did. It took a while. Um, we sold 72s and 84s. We collected. You know, we sort of harvested that at 45 um, with the idea that, I don't know, it's getting a bit stretched here. Um, 300 points from the highs down here at 65. Are we going to see way more risk off? I don't know. Actually, I think probably not. I think we're just stuck in this range. So as bullish as everyone got at 42.30, everyone's getting very bearish at 4100. 4, um do we just end up, you know, at 41.50 or 41.30, which we have done, you know, since at the beginning of April, until um, the debt ceiling is resolved one way or the other, I think we're just stuck. So just got to be patient here. Um, Kiwi, also very stretched, big, you know, RBNZ, not hawkish, big big red day there. Uh, continuing lower here today. Um, this gets stretched at 60.50, so still 30 points away, which is a half a percent in Kiwi. Um, overall, again, are we just going to stay uh, in this basic square range, just like, you know, just like S&Ps? And what is Kiwi? What is Aussie? These are sort of risk-on, risk-off currencies. Um, I don't mind uh, sticking a bit in, in Kiwi at 60.50. Talked about Euro Swiss yesterday. I don't know why we're like, uh, you know, this is like crack cocaine. We did, it did trade up to 60.50. Um, you know, we kind of cleared this plateau here at 20. Uh, and now is this the new floor? We did sneak down to 13 in, in a classic Euro Swiss, you know, in your face uh, move. But are we consolidating here for a turn? Uh, I weirdly think so, right? Again, I would caution anyone from listening to me or what I think about Euroswiss. Um, I'm historically a numsky um, with this shit, but um, I don't know. It feels like a turn in the old uh, secret squirrel cross. One last one I want everyone to look at is Dollar Norway. This thing has been teasing at 11. Uh, it's just another way of, of shorting the dollar. So if you don't, if you want to be more exotic, um, then just buying euros or selling dollar yen, maybe up at 11.05 through the stops. One interesting way to trade this is let it trade through 11 and then put a stop entry back through 11. Um, or you can just try for the reach 11.06 or something, but if it's trading at 11.06 or something, you got you to have a look around what the hell's going on. 
um, as you know, Norway going ballistic. Um, voila, dollar max, it's too late. If you missed it, uh, you missed it. We missed it. Um, we talked about selling 95.05s. 05s didn't trade, obviously. Uh, now we're at 82, so percent lower. Big down day yesterday. Uh, just goes to show you, even though the dollar was stronger everywhere yesterday, dollar max. Bang. So I'll go to Mexico City, have a little pate. Um, this is just a sell-on rally, uh, and it's just I don't really have a good beat on it. I keep keep missing it, um, but uh, dollar max has turned. Well, I guess lastly, gold. Uh, we've been waiting a long time for um, 1935. Are we going to see that? Certainly, there's going to be some stops through 50. 35 seems a bit of a, um, a stretch, no pun intended. Um, somewhere between 30 and 50, you want to collect some gold. Because um, when this dollar goes back to, I think, trend, which is lower dollar, a lot lower, um, based on the story that I understand, uh, you want to you want to loan some gold. And owning some low ones is just going to be a lot more fun then um, break trading 1985s, <clears throat> which you're going to probably do anyway, right? But if you own some 1935s or own some 1930s, um, that's, uh, that, could, that might be sexy uh, a week from now, in a week's time. So keep that in mind. All right, listen, I'm pretty subdued today. I'm kind of tired. Um, I'm going to stop my little, my little, uh, my little rant here. And wish you all a good trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.